the greatest cooperation that we show, and often the greatest altruism, is in war. Now, th that, that seems to be a contradiction. And, did, and the question arises, and you might have some different views on this among you, did we know how to cooperate and therefore get good at war, or were we getting good at war and learn how to cooperate through that? What do you all think? What do you think, Robert? What I think is, is that war is just a scaling up of, there's always conflict. And when you can cooperate, you can have conflict amongst bigger groups, because conflict almost always involves altruism in the sense that I'm a fighter, I put my life on the line, I take risks in the interest of victory, and the benefits flow to everyone, whether they, you know, whether they hide behind a tree or, or fight. But which do you think came first? Well, I think there was always conflict. And I think there was, in the timescales we're talking about, there was always cooperation. The question is, what scaled it from me and my brother, or me and my sister, uh, or me and my daughter, to me and five or 10 other people in my band, to me and the 500 people in my clan, to me and the 500,000 people you know, in my division, or whatever it is. Uh, um, so at every stage, you've got both motives to cooperate and motives to, to get stuff from other people. And the, the puzzle is what caused the scale of cooperation to increase? And I think to, the increase in scale comes first, and then the warfare comes afterwards. It's not the warfare generates the larger scale cooperation. It's cooperation enables larger scale conflict. 